Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and we continue the uh, different videos for the Windows Defender antivirus anti-malwares that is within Windows 10. So today we take a look at the um, firewall and network protection. So there are two videos already online for the video virus and threat protection and the account protection. Now it's firewall and network protection. So what's this? Firewall, of course, is a software integrated within Windows that prevents, um, basically blocks unwanted access from the network or the internet. So it's there to block things that shouldn't actually have access to the PC. And it has permissions for some of the software you've got on your PC so that it can actually access the internet to get information. So it has specific ports that are open for the access of certain software and what you want to do. And of course it blocks a lot of ports so that there's no illegal access from outside, basically. It's like a brick wall, but that has holes for specific things um, in different uh, places. So of course, firewall needs to be on, and it's good that it says it's on for domain network, for private network, and for uh, public network. The firewall should always be on. It's very, very important. There are other options in the firewall and network protection. One is allow an app through firewall. So when you click here, it brings you to the firewall settings, and it will actually give you the list of apps that are on your PC and everything that has either public or private access for the settings. So when you actually click, um, for example, a software and you click details, you'll have a little more of the properties. It doesn't show a lot. There's more specific things um, that can be found uh, by clicking change settings. So when you click change settings, what it does is it will al allow you to actually do some modifications as apps are possibly uh, capable of you know going on the internet over public or private networks you can allow apps by clicking here and here you will browse the path of that app or that software that needs access to uh, internet and actually give it access be very careful because you need to of course make sure that you give access only to apps that you know what they are and that they need uh, internet access. Network and internet troubleshooter, if you've got some connection problems, it will bring you to the troubleshooting sections where you can run internet connection um, troubleshooting. What that does is that it's going to actually tell you and give you the details of if something is not right and there's other problems with like the network adapter, incoming connections and so on that you can click if you got some um, internet connectivity issue or network issues it's you know it's not perfect but it sometimes gives you an idea of why something isn't working why the internet isn't working you've got firewall notification settings so you can actually have um, and, and use the notifications to let you know if something isn't right so Windows security which is the app uh, for the uh, malware will give you notifications of things happening. For example, I had a notification earlier about a virus scan that it did and everything was all right. You can also manage um, apps and services from the providers, manage providers here. You all, of course, have advanced settings, and this brings you to more advanced settings within your uh, Windows Defender and all sorts of rules inbound rules, outbound rules. What does that mean? Some apps might want access to the internet, but maybe you don't want to have the internet connect to that app. So you might give an app the possibility to go out, but not anything to get in. And each app is very, very specific on this. Uh, you also get connection security rules and monitoring of the different connections. Uh, it's a very, very um, big and extended list of different things that can be set up. And finally, you can restore firewalls to default. If you click this, if you gave permissions to apps that didn't have permissions, if you think something isn't right and it shouldn't be like that, 
you can click Restore Firewalls to Default. That means every app that you manually gave access to the internet will suddenly have no access anymore. They'll be removed. The firewall will only give access to what it knows already is okay, not to things that maybe you actually forced an output to it. So that's firewall and network protection. It's very important that it's on. It's there to keep you safe from at, uh, different types of attacks from the internet and from within a network. It's not just over the internet that things can you know go wrong. Uh, it could be something within a home network or a business network that is trying to do something bad on your computer. If you enjoy my videos, please uh, subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.